Hey guys, my name is Ponshankar and in this video we would be understanding how to use dashboard extensions in Tableau to expand its capabilities. Tableau is a great visualization tool. It provides a large set of features and functionalities that makes data preparation and data visualization easier and interesting. But as with any top tool, even with Tableau, there are gaps or good to have expectations that needs to be filled. What we are going to see are dashboard extensions that provides us this good to have functionalities. Dashboard extensions are web applications that add functionality to our dashboards. These extensions are created and supported by Tableau partners and there are a set of terms and conditions that we would understand and accept before we use it. Now, we are going to look at an extension called Export All that provides a facility for the users to download data from Tableau dashboard into Excel. First, we will see the inbuilt options in Tableau to export data as a cross tab. Then, we will see how the export all extension provides us an advantage. Finally, we will see a workaround that would help us to download full data from Tableau with proper column names and without certain calculated fields we don't want our users to see. This would be a simple data that I have put together to work in today's session. Let's open our Tableau desktop. I'm using a professional version of Tableau 2020.2. Let's connect to the example Excel sheet we just saw. The data is loaded. Now let's go to our Tableau sheet. And let's first create some calculated fields to understand how we can manipulate the appearance of selected columns in the export all functionality. I'm creating a profit percentage field. Now I'm creating a placeholder field with a string. Now select customers, then sales, profit, and change it to a bar graph and make the view as entire view. Sort our chart. Now let's bring our region fields into filter. Now, before we use export all extensions, let's understand what the default Tableau export option to download the data into an Excel cross tab looks like. Go to worksheet, export, and select on cross tab to Excel. Once you do this, we should be able to see an Excel file open. If we look at it, we should be able to see the data we used in our visualization represented as a cross tab. Now, let's see how our extension would work. Let's create a dashboard first as the extensions are designed to be added at the dashboard level. Drag in the visualization we just created. Drag the extension from the objects and drop it into the dashboard we would be able to see a dialog box opening with two options. One is extension gallery and the second one is my extension. First, we will have to go to the extension gallery to select and download the extension we require. Once we select on extension gallery, a browser window would open with all available extensions. First, let's select the version of Tableau we are using. And if we scroll down, these are the extensions that is available to us. I'm selecting on the export all extension created by Information Lab and then choosing to download it. Once I select on download, you would be able to see the download has started. This is because I'm already logged into the Tableau account. If not, the site will ask your credentials first and then the download would start. Now let's go to my extensions and select the downloaded .trex file. Since these extensions are created by Tableau partners, there would be a set of terms and conditions we will need to read and accept. I'm selecting OK and once I do this, we would see a dialog box with options to customize the exportable file through this extension. I'm selecting the sheet giving it an appropriate name. Then I'm going to select column tab. Here I can select or deselect columns based on my preferences. 
I don't want to exclude any columns here. So I will just rename the columns in way it doesn't show the aggregation. Now I'm going to configure tab and here we can customize the button label and give a name for the export file. Select on save changes and close the dialog box. Now when I click on the full data download button, a downloadable Excel opens. We can save it and when we open the Excel, we would be able to see the downloaded data that is exactly similar to the cross tab to Excel functionality that is pre-built in Tableau. Now, at this point, what the extension has offered us is a convenient button that can export the data into Excel in a very simple way. But its usability can be taken to the next level based on our use case. Let's say we have built a comprehensive Tableau dashboard to our business stakeholders. But there is a constant demand to see the data in an Excel file which is convenient for them. Now a pre-built option in Tableau is the full data extract option. Let's go to the data, select sheet, go to view data. This is the complete data that is available through Tableau. There are two things that needs to be addressed in this. One is I would like to restrict certain columns like profit from appearing in the data extract. And the second is I don't want the users to be overwhelmed with the calculated fields I've created in Tableau for visualization. Since this data set is small, it might look less complex, but think about a huge data set with a lot of table calculations, calculated fields, placeholders, etc. Tableau's default full data extract feature doesn't allow you to choose and customize the columns. Now, let's see how we can make this possible using the export all extension. For our export all extension to work, the data needs to reside in a particular view or sheet. Let's create a new sheet. Select on customers, drag sales into columns, profit percentage into columns, profit also into columns. Bring region into rows, segments into rows, and also the heading into rows. All I'm doing here is, whatever data I want my users to download, I'm just adding those into this sheet. Now let's go back to our dashboard. Let's remove the previous extension. Drag the newly created sheet tool to the right corner of the dashboard. Please notice that I've selected the floating container below the objects before dragging the sheet. Now let's minimize this because what I would like to do is place the extension button on top of the sheet 2 so that the sheet 2 content is not displayed but the extensions can make use of the columns in the sheet to export the data. Now let's drag the extensions as a floating container and drop it on the top of our sheet 2. Now go to my extensions and select the downloaded .trx file. Once we do that, a dialog box to customize our exportable file opens up. I'm selecting sheet 2 and giving it an appropriate name. Now let's go to select columns and we would be able to see all the columns be placed in sheet 2. I don't want column showing profit and the heading placeholder to be available in the file. So I'm deselecting those. Giving an appropriate name for sales column. Now select on save changes and close the dialog box. Let's resize the extension container to fit in well. Now when we select on export all, a file will be downloaded. Now when we open the file, we would be able to see the data in the Excel file in the way we wanted it to be. This example would have helped you understand how to set up export all extension in Tableau dashboard, understand what can be customized through it, and workarounds to make it more useful. This can be further evolved to fit into your use case with few changes. And I hope this helped in getting you guys started with Tableau dashboard extensions. Thank you very much for your time and attention. 
Stay connected by subscribing my channel to dive into more details and learn more together. Please give a thumbs up and share if you have liked this video. Also, please comment below for any questions in this video and I will do my best to help you guys out.